Greetings, Earthlings, Wisdom Keepers, Wisdom Seekers. Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. My name is Tanya, and today we are discussing the Scorpio new moon for you. That's right, Scorpios, Scorpios, ascendant, sun, or moon. If you are a Scorpio, this video is for you and specifically Scorpio, how to best navigate and what to expect over the next two to four weeks, two weeks, because that's the amount of time it takes for us to get a full moon. Okay. Again, and four weeks, because that's the amount of time it takes for us to get another new moon. So this video is your forecast slash um, support guide. Okay. For that amount of time. Now, Scorpio, before I jump into this super speedy three minute recording on the sprint, that is the astrological interpretation for this new moon event for you, because that's about all the time I have today to dedicate to each video. I want to invite you to subscribe if you're not already, if you vibe, because we is building tribe here on the Wisdom Drops platform. I put out a video every single day of the week. Be here for it, because I'm here for you. Number two, last but not least, hit that like button, Scorp, if it does provide you any value whatsoever by the end of it, because that helps other Scorpios out there get the 411, get the download, get the navigation GPS in order, okay? Okay. Thank you for your support. Thank you for helping other Scorpios out there see this content and use this content. Um, now, we are going to share our screen. I'm going to set my timer to three minutes, baby. We are going to sprint through a Scorp. I know you're a water sign. I hope it's not too quick. You can always watch my overview video I did for the new moon event itself. Now, Scorpio, this is a new moon in your sign. You are literally the celebrity of this lunation event. The new beginning on offer right now is for you personally, you. This is your new moon. We usually get one of them per year, okay? So, you're being asked to start this new beginning for yourself, for your soul, for everything that is to do with you, Scorpio. And coincidentally not, because everything is divinely orchestrated enough, you have Mercury in Scorpio at the time of this lunation. Now, this is extremely important because it's literally the quintessential uh, Scorpio going deep thing. Mercury can be so deep, right, in any given sign, but it is the deepest in the sign of, you guessed it, Scorpio, your sign. Because why? Because you is the deepest sign, the darkest, the darkest, deepest sign of the entire zodiac. So thoughts, beliefs, okay, um, communications are all deeper at this time because Mercury is freshly direct after its retrograde cycle, which you can see my video I did on that as well in the sign of Scorpio. So this new beginning for you Scorpios is all about going deeper into what it means for you to be a Scorpio, what it means for you to be who you really are. This is like the stuff you get off on. It's who you are. You're the detective. You want to get to the core of things. You want to get to the essence of things. And at this point in time, Scorpio, the heavens, the goddesses, the gods of the universe, the beings of supreme divinity are asking you as a Scorpio, go deeper into yourself. We see that you've gone so deep. Now go deeper because Mercury is in your sign. Not only that, at the time of this new moon, in this new beginning on offer but she is she he mercury's both is again yet again in opposition with uranus so truth must be told and this is between you and others relationships partnerships um who you're committed to who you're bonded with who you're in business partnership with who you're dating anything that is like partnership oriented even friends truth is being told in there let it come you're being asked to develop the truth and um, Lilith is there with Uranus, so she's really like, you know what, I don't care if it's darker, I don't care if it's deeper, I don't care if it's inappropriate or taboo, it will come forward. So I expect some dramatic communications and developments in your partnerships over the next month, Scorpio. How do you deal with this energy? Go to the apex point of this T-square. If you didn't see my other video I just did on the new moon itself, outside of this being your horoscope, Scorps check it out because I talk more about this. But how do you get through this? You get through this by focusing in on that Jupiter-Pluto conjunction, baby. That's your modern ruling planet, okay? Uh, Pluto in Capricorn. Go deeper into transforming how you personally communicate. This is your third house. Go deeper into uh, how you personally see uh, and believe communication should be. Think about your communications. Look at all the themes of communications coming up. You got the third house activation here with the apex point of both this mini grand trine, aka V sextile, aka blue triangle, and also the apex point of this T square in the sign of your third house, Capricorn. And you have the planet of communications, Mercury, in your sign under this. You're being asked to transform your communications. You're being asked to transform how you think about communicating, your philosophy of communicating, because Jupiter is there and Pluto is transforming it. Jupiter also expands that. So you are transforming naturally the way you think, the way you interact with people locally in your community. That's the third house. 
in the way that you uh, deal with siblings as well, because that's also the third house and how you structure yourself accordingly. So this is going to help you get out of any tensions. If you focus on what I just did, this is like the gasket, like to, the alleviation point of this lunation because it's the apex of both of these. You see how that works? Um, I hope this video has brought you value. That's about all the time I got today. If it did, hit that like button so they can share with others across the land. And with that said, Scorpio, through next time, until next time, may the stars be with you. Peace.